In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a slightly trickier integral, which is our natural logarithm of x plus 1. So I'm going to start by writing the integral in a slightly strange way. So I'm going to do the integration of 1 times ln x plus 1. And the reason for this is it's going to let us use integration by parts, because we've got one thing times another thing. We have our integration by parts formula here, and we need to think about which is going to be u and which is going to be dv. And I'm going to decide that this is going to be our u, and this one is going to be our dv. So there is our u and dv values. So we need to take the derivative of this to get du. We have to integrate both sides here to get v. And we should know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So the derivative of ln x plus 1 is simply going to be 1 over x plus 1. You would also need to think about using the chain rule, but our inside function is simply going to be 1. So we end up with this result anyway. Integrating both sides here gives us v equals x. Now we've got everything we need to substitute into our integration by parts formula. So I'm going to take all of these functions and just substitute them into that integration by parts formula. So I've just done the substitution here. And from the substitution, you obtain this. We can tidy this up a tiny bit by taking the x and moving it onto the top there. So tidied that up. And we need to do something a little bit strange to help compute this integral here. So I'm going to say that x equals x plus 1 minus 1. So the plus 1 and minus 1 is cancelling. So it's really just saying that x equals x. But by substituting this in here, it's going to let us split this into two fractions. So we are actually doing this integration here. So I've split this into two fractions. And of course, x plus 1 over x plus 1 is going to give us 1. So we're actually doing this integration here. And so we're going to split this into two integrations. And you'll notice that we've got a minus minus. So that's why we're getting a plus here. And the integral of dx is, of course, x. And the integral of this, well, it's just basically this backwards. This is our derivative. So if we go backwards, we get um, ln x plus 1. So this integral is going to be ln x plus 1. We have, of course, got a constant. So we integrated this and got x integrated this, and we got our ln x plus 1. There is a slight factorization that you can do. You've got x times this and one of these. So we can simply take x plus 1 times ln x plus 1. We've got the minus x coming in there, and then we got our plus c on the end. And this is, of course, our final answer. So you can now integrate ln x plus 1 and similar functions using this process. Hope this video was helpful to you, and thank you very much for watching.